to Summer Lake Photog, a channel dedicated to all things photographic. My name is John Williams, and lately I have been um, using the process called encaustic photography uh, to take my photographs and print them and mount them on um, panels. Uh, frames, uh, cradles that I make myself, and then coating them with a wax plus Damar resin coating to try to complement the textures that I use that I created in Photoshop and to create works of art out of my photography. Uh, you'll see some of those in the cutaways on this video. And I want to just introduce you to uh, some of the materials that you might gather together and some of the process in preparation to creating a wax coated photograph. Uh, and so that's what this particular uh, video is dedicated to. So what you have to do is you have to melt uh, pure beeswax, which uh, I'm going to get from now on in the pellet form and mix it in a certain proportion with the mar resin which makes it uh, more able to um, uh, adhere to the photograph and to remain on the photograph um, even under warmer conditions. It really strengthens uh, the wax by adding the mar resin. So uh, what I do is I mix um, the mar resin uh, the mixture that I did to create these cakes here, which are a combination of Damar resin and wax, is six part wax to one part Damar resin. And so I think uh, one of these cakes might do an 8 by 10. Um, maybe uh, I'll need slightly more. We'll see when I start with the 8 by 10s and these cakes. But of course, I'm going to melt the cakes back uh, in a, a tin and then paint it on with a brush. But right now, I prepared these for future use. And the way I did it is I used my old um, broken handled um, crock pot. And it has two settings. Uh, it has um, low and high. And what uh, one of the things that you do is you want to measure, like for instance, if you measured a half of, uh, took a small cup and measured half of that cup uh, full of the resin and put it into the crock pot and then did uh, three full cups of wax pellets. I don't have any wax pellets. I ran out of wax. You'd have an eight and put that in. You'd have an eight to one. Uh, ratio that'd be a, a half a cup um, of resin and then you'd have two four six no that'd be six to one you'd have uh, six uh, half cups uh, with three or three full cups of wax add another cup and you'd have eight to one I think I'm going to use eight to one from now on, I was weighing uh, it, uh, the grams, but I think it's a lot easier just to use pellets and fill up uh, glasses, half glass of pellets, and then four full glasses, and you've got an eight to one ratio. And then I bought this uh, at a, um, um, oh, um, what do we call them here? It'd be like a, a Vincent de Paul, uh, you know, a, a secondhand store um, for ten dollars and I don't even know what it is but it has um, heat uh, adjustments and the entire surface heats up what was handy is it um, so I can put tins on here to heat up my wax but what's handy is that I could also make my cakes with it which was pretty good so for ten bucks and I found out that when you're cooking wax, you better wear something. It is, it is not good to breathe those fumes. Even in this ventilated condition in my uh, garage, you want to have some form to keep from breathing it. And then 
because uh, Damar resin um, is made from um, trees, it has a lot of bark and debris in it when you cook it down. So I took some cheesecloth, I believe I got this at Michael's, and just put a rubber band around it over a tin bowl um, and poured it from that when it was finely cooked into this to filter it and then poured it into these uh, to cool and then pried them out with a stick and that was my case. So that's the process I went through to do that. Um, one thing, uh, the resin, the mar resin, cooks at a higher temperature than the um, wax. Some people have different methods for doing this. I think what I'm going to be doing is just throwing everything into the crock pot. <clears throat> I think instead of turning it on low, I'm going to turn it on high because it takes high to melt that resin. And then I'm going to just come with a stick and just keep stirring it. And that's when you want to have your mask uh, because um, you don't want to be breathing those fumes when you lift the lid off the crock pot and stir to get all that resin melted into the wax. So the process is add eight small cups of wax, petals, which you can buy for 10 bucks a sack on Amazon or any other place you want to shop for it or one of the art stores. A uh, half cup of <clears throat> tomorrow resin. Stir and heat till it's all melted. Pour it into a tin container. This is an old uh, cooking pan I never used uh, with, no, with no handles on it. Uh, through some cheesecloth or a um, some kind of way of straining it, a strainer. Make sure you have uh, gloves to hold your the stuff that's hot, like the crock pot on that one, it's hot. And then um, pour it into something like a muffin uh, pan or something to make your cakes with out of that pan there. And then let them cool and pry them out and store them somewhere yeah, I, I store them I can store them in anything like a cellophane bag or something and then you're ready to go when you want to melt your wax and use it I use the rags to clean out bowls that have, have hot wax in it so I don't have a constant uh, build up of wax on things and then there's the heat gun you use when you're applying which is a different thing and then I built this little uh, thing to uh, work the heat gun to put my panels with my photographs on uh, and, and prop them up against it so I could uh, use the heat gun on. But that's, that's the next step in the process. This has just been an introduction to the basic materials used to melt and combine the mar resin and the wax and create little cakes to use for future use. Hope that's been helpful.